For the 2,300 University of Louisville students who have some type of military connection, this space serves as a bit of a hub. You have social spaces, you have wellness spaces, you have everything including study spaces that students need here to be successful. It just really gives us an opportunity to have a space on campus where we feel welcomed and we feel like we can excel to the best of our abilities. Air Force ROTC cadet and UofL sophomore Ross Fulco says the Center for Military Connected Students gives him a chance to meet other service members and student veterans who can help him navigate his career. Having a, a, a group of people that have that mentorship ability and can really teach me how to excel in the military and how to have a good work-life balance and, and stuff like that. Um, it's very valuable. $600,000 in state funding helped the university renovate Broadshe Hall, which was originally built in 1969. The goal is to develop community among students, like U.S. Marine Corps veteran and rising junior Kendrick Warren. But don't be afraid to meet the people that have gone through what you've gone through. It doesn't matter if you were Air Force, Army, Navy, or Marine Corps. Hey, this is home. Center Director Kyle Hurwitz says although the facility and team will support academic and military achievement, the greatest need they serve is a sense of belonging. Although they're college students and they made the transition, they have different life experiences um, that often they can only relate to, not just only relate to military connections, but certainly it helps them when they find that sense of belonging. While that's important for ROTC cadets, it's vital for veterans like Warren. Building where other vets who have had that experience before can come back to their roots and meet guys like me. Now you can see behind me here, the downstairs is not quite finished, but when it is done, this will be able to serve more students. It'll even have more social spaces down there. On the University of Louisville campus, Norman Seawright, WLKY News.